Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I will tell you why you should or should not be an elementalist main. This class had some ups and downs throughout the years. First it was one of the best DPS, then it was nerfed. Then back into the meta again, then nerfed again. Nerfed again for the memes. Also at one point it was called the downstate class because of the low HP and how easy it was to find yourself on the ground and DPS from there. Now it's in an ok state considering all elite specs in my opinion. But let's talk about the elite specs. Tempest, the heart of turns elite spec that had some rough balance patches. Now it is in an acceptable place as it received the ability to provide alacrity to allies, but it could have been implemented better as now you cannot be a heal tempest that shares auras and alacrity. You have to choose between them and usually a healer without quickness or alacrity gets overlooked in the meta game. But leaving that aside, Tempest is a good choice for open world or group content, especially if you choose the alacrity DPS build. Weaver, one of the more complex elite specs to play in my opinion. The reason I say that is because while you can definitely play the class and do ok, it is a bit harder to get the most out of it with the switching of elements in the right order based on what you need to do. But I also had a lot of fun playing this build in either Condi or Power versions in both open world and group content. And I can definitely recommend it if you want a pure DPS option that requires a bit more dedication. And Catalyst. The elite spec that was released with End of Dragons and one that had the most changes from the first beta until now. As ArenaNet moved to a different philosophy in regards to support builds and that there should be more options to choose from, they have added the possibility to give quickness as a catalyst, which is great, but we had so many iterations of this that I'm not sure how this elite spec will change over the next balance patches. I have a feeling it won't remain like this. Anyway, moving on to the builds for the catalyst, you can play this as a DPS quickness with decent damage or full DPS. Again, the DPS version, like all specs for Elementalist, requires some dedication before reaching the top spots for DPS, but it is definitely there if you know what you're doing, and bonus, there is a healing build for it too, but not many people use it. In conclusion, I think Elementalist is a fun class to play, and if you enjoy playing a sorcerer in games, this is definitely for you. You also have the option to play as a support with a Tempest or Catalyst if you enjoy that. But please keep in mind that elementalists have the lowest HP pool and the least defense because it uses cloth armor. While it requires more dedication than other classes to actually be good, I think it's worth it. If you want to play something that's easier to learn and reach top DPS in groups with less effort, you can look at Necromancer or Mesmer. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.